Hey everybody, it's uh, Senior Captain Shane, flying my MD-11. Uh, we're about to start our descent down towards Ontario after about a four-hour flight over the Pacific Ocean, pretty uneventful. That's the way we like it, right? Um, yeah, so we're going to be descending uh, via an arrival I haven't personally used before. It's called the Carl B. Arrival. Let me show that to you real quick. You put that on the screen. So here's where we're at. We're going to start descending here shortly. And initially, we're going to cross this intersection, Goats, at 280 knots, 16,000 feet. Then we need to be at or below Fun, Fun, 14,000. Show at 12. Ollie at or above 9,000. Carl B, whoever that is, at or below 8. At Pox Coup, we need to be at 220 knots, 7,000 feet. And then we continue on. Uh, to the ILS 26 right approach. You can see Paksu right there. Paradise, hit Hygro, make a left turn on to Taco or Pettis, and shoot the ILS in the 26 right. Okay, we'll go ahead and dial down our altitude. I'm going to take us down to, uh, I don't know. Take it at 10,000 feet from now. We may or may not have ATC going into LA tonight. Or Ontario. Let me see. So, it's showing that SoCal departure slash approach is online. But I'm not sure if they're doing arrivals or just departures. So, I got the frequency tuned in just in case. I'm not sure. Okay, in here we go. Vertical alert. Heading down. So, we'll monitor the descent on our performance page right here we can also keep an eye on it right there we want to keep that little magenta diamond centered right here in the middle that's our vertical profile our lateral is here left to right of course so if you guys haven't watched it yet um I landed in Honolulu earlier this, today, and I gotta say it was a horrible landing. I, I blew through the glide slope. It was yelling at me. And on top of that, when I finally did touch down, I floated halfway down the runway, what it, what it seemed to me. And the nose just dropped on me. I mean, I mean, it was like it was pointing down so hard, I couldn't catch it. And we bounced the nose strut so hard that it came up off the ground again. So I'm hoping to do a lot better job tonight. I'm intentionally not live streaming tonight so I can focus on flying the dang plane. It's down there. What is that? Whoa. What is that? Let me see here. Airports. Hmm. NSI. I can see what that is. Jackson Hill? Let's ring a bell. Huh, I don't know. It's not San Clemente Island, is it? I don't. Eh, anyway. Oh, we'll take a look at the weather going into Ontario. K O N T. All right. Let's see what the weather is there. Okay, four five three Zulu. It is about thirty minutes ago. Wind two four zero six knots. Ten statute miles visibility. Clear skies. Uh, temperature 19, 2.13, altimeter 2984. 2984, got it. Picking up a little bit of turbulence in the descent here.
let's try this again. There we go. All right, let me show you where we're at right now. On the RLB3 RNAV arrival. Looking for go to 280. So tracking on goats at 18,000 feet, we'll do our in range checklist. Let's take a peek outside. Soon we'll be hitting that transition altitude. The altimeters will be 29 or 84. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in standby right now. So don't forget, 29 or 84. Okay, uh, vertical profile looks good. Everything looks good. So if we do need to talk to SoCal approach, it's 124.3. And then I'm gonna put the CTAF frequency for for uh, Ontario over here. I'm gonna go ahead and start listening to that now, monitor that. Alright, let's take a look here. Transition altitude, oh yeah, we blew through that. Uh, 2984. I'm gonna put in some speed brake to help slow this thing down a little bit. And in range checklist. Altimeters set cross check 2984. Windshield anti ice. Is on. Seatbelt signs are on. Wing and runway uh, turn off lights on. Status page. It's checked. Okay, add drag. Kind of blown through that speed restriction there. Stabilizer motion. Come on, baby, slow down. We're actually really high on the profile right now, too. Take a look at that. Yeah, we're low. Okay. Breaks up. Uh, make sure that this FM FMC is uh, is adjusting for this profile that we dug, dipped under there. Okay, we're just coming back in. Yeah, it's, it's getting it back now. You know what? Just, let's hold the altitude here. I feel like we're getting a little too... Altitude. I don't know. I feel like we're, we're slowing down too fast here. How far are we from Ontario? We have 87 miles to go. 
we're just a little too slowed down here. Take a look at the uh, arrival chart. Make sure we're not. Yeah, so the next speed restriction is at uh, at Poxu. You know what? Let's let's. We're gonna fly 280 knots for a little bit. There's no reason to slow down yet. We need to be at or below fun. At, um, so we need to be at or below it. But we don't have to actually cross it below, that far below. As long as we're below 14,000, we're okay. I don't want to slow down this much, this far out. Okay, coming left. So the next one we need to worry about is Ollie. We need to be at or above Ollie at 9,000. Okay. And at or below Carl B. Alright, let's go ahead and, we'll go ahead and start down to Ollie. And I'm going to go FMS speed. As we get ready to go down through 10,000 feet, we're going to go ahead and turn on our landing lights and taxi light. Alright. I'm going to hold the climb at uh, 10,000 feet so we can slow down. Check. Let's get it slowed down at 245. Continuing down. Take it down 8,000 feet. So, I don't know if SoCal Approach wants to talk to me or not. No, we're pretty deep into his airspace. Let, let's check in with him. Let's see here. Southwest of Los Angeles Airport altitude as reported. Uh, clear to enter San Diego class, or correction, LA class from airspace, turn right heading 200. Clear to enter class from airspace and right to 200, A22 Mike November. Potter A22 Mike November, squawk 5533. Squawk 5533, A22 Mike November. Number 237 Mike Alpha, for your direction of flight, um, you probably want uh, about 3,500 for your VFR altitude because VFR altitudes, if you're westbound, it's uh, even plus 500, and then for eastbound, it's it's um, odd plus 500, so um, I'd recommend you climb and maintain VFR at 3,500, then just uh, uh, fly about a 100 heading uh, on, to, on course to John Wayne. How about your uh, Okay, uh, we'll um, climb to 3,500, sorry about that. Then, yeah, we'll uh, maintain the heading if it would actually follow it. Why is it going 175? Okay, I'm going to figure this out. I climbed to 3000 and heading 1004, John Wayne, uh, 237 Mike November. Uh, November 822 Mike November, yeah, that wasn't for you, that was for a different aircraft. But if, if you'd like to, uh, 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 up to zero discretion for now. Was that for 227 Mike Delphin? Negative, November 822 Mike November. Uh, VFR up to zero discretion. Well, I'd like to talk to him if I could. Roger, 822 Mike November. So call approach uh, UPS. Oh, what's my call sign? UPS 2192. Uh, we're descending towards Ontario now. Do we need to be talking to you or are we on Uncom? Uh, which ramp were you on? That's the, uh, the Carl B3. Uh, UPS 2192. You're outside of my airspace. Uh, negative. Okay, good night. Thanks for uh, checking in. See ya. Well, there it is, guys. We don't need to be talking to him. All right, next. Talk to at 7,000. All right, crew down to 7,000. Boxu does have a 220 knot speed there.
Okay, FMS is uh, adjusting speed down to 214. I'm gonna help it out a little bit with a little bit of speed brake. Okay, speed break up. Let's go slats extend. Give you an update of where we're at right now. We're within 25 miles of Ontario, heading towards Paksu, make a right turn to Paradise, and then we're gonna start navigating towards the ILS approach. A little high, a little nose high here. I'm just not quite ready to throw out the flaps 15 yet. Tell you what. Let's take it up to 220 knots. There we go. Get the snows down a little bit. Right turn coming up at Paksu. Okay, coming right. Keep us a little bit higher for now. We don't really need the drop yet. Is that the 91 freeway down there? It kind of looks like it. Direct to paradise. Let's take her down to 6,000 feet. We'll see Ontario. There it is. I think that's it. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's home base. Altitude. All right, let's go FMS speed, get her slowed down. Let's go flaps 15 now. All right, after paradise, I'm gonna go ahead and fly straight through. In fact, I'm gonna go heading select now. Take vertical speed about 500 feet a minute down to 6,000. All right, I'm gonna fly the reciprocal. Is 
I don't like that turn. Trying to, trying to swing that turn around would be really hard to do. Nice to have some ATC give me vectors, but we'll just do our own vectors. Alright, we're gonna take her down to 4,300 proof. Approach checklist briefing is complete. Altimeters are 29084, set and cross check. Minimums 200 radar altimeter for the chart. Navigate to check. I'm ready to get back on course now. I like the turn is not going to be so steep. So let's go direct. Let's go direct high grow. I'm going to go nav. Stabilizer motion. I'm going to go profile. Alright, looks like we have the, um, the localizer and the glide slope are alive here. I Ontario, I O N T, but we're still, um, we're still outside of range of that. So, and, well, we're not out of range, but we're out of position to pick it up. Airport's off to our nine o'clock, right over there. Once we start this turn towards Pettis, I'll go ahead and uh, we'll arm approach and landing. Get down to 4,300. Let's go flaps 28. Speed brake is armed. Auto brakes minimum. Wait on landing gear. Alright. Approach speed. 
Looking at 154 flaps 35. Wait on. Let's get gear down. Okay, localized is captured. Let's go flaps 35. Okay, before landing checklist. Lights are on, spoilers armed, auto brakes minimum, gear down, four green. Flaps 35, checked. Before landing checklist. Hey, we're on the approach. Ontario traffic, UPS 2192 on ILS 26 right approach. Right. Hopefully I can do a little better today. Let's slam it into the ground again. Check throttle alignment. About there. Tell you what, I'm gonna take it a little early tonight. Autopilot. Autopilot. Hey, I am hand flying the aircraft. Landing. You're breaking first idle. Man, that nose still really wants to drop on this thing. Man, I need to work on that some more. I haven't got that tuned out yet. All right. First is stowed. And kilo. That's where we want it to stop every time.
Okay, exit and runway here, and we'll stop and clean up. All right, let's stop it right here. Parking brake. It's been a flaps. Spoilers. A peach coming on. Auto brakes off. Strobe lights off. Landing light off. Radar is off. Transponder standby. Okay. UPS tra uh, correction. Uh, Ontario traffic. UPS 2092 heavy is clear 26 right. Crossing 26 left taxi via Sierra to the UPS ramp. All right. Let's get out of here. Let's get back to the ramp. I'll tell you what my landing rate was, but I didn't get to see it. Man, this thing still wants to really dump the nose when you touch down and it's it's pretty violent I'm not really sure I've been working on the flight model on this jet for a while and um, it's one thing I haven't quite figured out how to how to deal with yet is that tendency to drop the nose when it touches down that's it's too extreme the real MD-11 actually has a tendency to keep the nose up when the spoilers deploy not this nose dumping thing so I gotta work on that Look at our overhead here. See how we're looking on everything. Okay. All right. Let me check my after landing checklist all the way through. APU's on. Lights as required. Stab trim. I need to finish that. 2.5 aircraft nose up. Flaps and slats are up. Auto brakes off. Spoilers retracted. Radar is off. Oxygen. Well, I don't care about that right now. At the land checklist complete. Turn coming up. Okay, and we're actually parking on the other side tonight, where I normally don't park. Okay, slow her down. And over here, by, by that little stair thing, that's where we're parking tonight. There it is. Right there. Okay. Marshaller. Okay, let's do our shut down checklist. All right, IRS is off. One, two, three. Burns power off. Anti ice off. E fog off. 
ignition override off. Emergency lights off. Seatbelt sign. Beacon light off. We'll turn off these runway turnoff lights and the taxi light. Uh, okay, and then we're ready for fuel levers. Three, one, two. There you go, guys. That's another successful landing, sort of. Um, I'll go back to the drawing board and try to figure out why the heck this thing keeps dumping the nose on me on on landing but uh, this time I was able to catch it a little bit we didn't bounce right off of there but it's still it's still evading me what what I need to work on in the flight model to keep it from dumping so hard on on landing but I'll figure it out anyway guys thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one